Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to visit with my team today to learn about the Division of Research and Innovation and the programs and services we offer to you. I'm joined here today by my leadership team who will introduce themselves when they have the microphone. I am Mohammed Abu Salam, and I joined San Jose State in June 2019 as the first Vice President for Research and Innovation with the establishment of the new Division of Research and Innovation. My job with my team is to build and grow the research and innovation enterprise here at San Jose State. As you may know, the Office of Research had existed before my time and was part of the Office of the Provost. We carved out the Office of Research from the Provost's office and folded it into the new division. This is part of the University's Transformation 2030 strategic plan to raise the profile of the research, scholarship, and creative activity taking place on campus and to bolster our support efforts to our faculty and students. The mission of the Division of Research and Innovation is to offer programs and services that support the growth of the San Jose State Research and Innovation Enterprise and to help develop a vibrant, curious, inventive, entrepreneurial, and responsible campus culture. We support the institution in delivering economic and social benefits to our local and global communities through research, scholarship, creative activity, and innovation. In our Division of Research and Innovation, we have three primary offices, the Office of Research, the Office of Innovation, and the San Jose State Research Foundation. In the Office of Research, we have two primary areas of activity that you will interact with, and these are the research development and research compliance. You will hear more about these functions and services from my team. The Office of Innovation, on the other hand, supports our faculty and students in technology transfer and innovation and entrepreneurship. We want to ensure that our research does not end here on campus, but to have its pathways to be put into practice so that it brings value to our local and global communities. That will happen through research collaborations, intellectual property commercialization, and supporting our students and faculty with their entrepreneurial aspirations. The third unit is the San Jose State Research Foundation, which is an auxiliary organization of the San Jose State University. The Research Foundation is critical to the delivery of research administration services pertaining to the management of extramoral grants, research contracts and agreements, as well as the holding, protection, and management of San Jose State's intellectual property that is generated by our faculty and students and staff. My team will speak about the functions and services of each of these units and how they can support you. I invite you to connect with us to utilize our services to help with your research, scholarship, and creative activity. Reach out to the team by phone or email at any time. We are here to support you. With that, I thank you again for your interest in the Division of Research and Innovation, and I look forward to connecting with you in person to learn about your progress in research, scholarship, and creative activity. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Julia Kavinsky, and I'm Director of Research Development at San Jose State. Research Development is a new unit that I was hired to help create in late 2019 as part of the also new Division of Research and Innovation. One of the main goals of Research Development is to help faculty get extramural funding for their research scholarship and creative activities. And research development does this in several ways. The first way I want to highlight is that we have developed a series of workshops that help faculty be creative or be competitive and creative in their grant getting endeavors. And I'd like you to be able to know how to check out the workshops that we have going on for the 2021 and 22 academic years. And if you surf over to the Office of Research website and then go to research development, trainings and workshops. You will see a whole set of workshops that we have for the coming year. Uh, I'm not gonna go over them all here, but we have everything from proposal planning and writing getting started, how to write a risk and narrative with a competitive advantage. Uh, we have a new workshop on faculty fellowships, as well as several that are agency specific, one for the NEH, one for NIH. Uh, we have a resubmission workshop, 
as well as an NSF uh, career grant workshop. So I really encourage you to check these out, to join us uh, this year for any that are relevant to you, and we really hope to see you there. So the other things that research development can do for you as faculty is to help you figure out what extramural funded opportunities uh, to apply for. We can help you figure out how to find and monitor for opportunities in your field throughout your career. This is really an important skill to develop. We also send opportunities your way as we get to know you and um, learn about you and when we see something, we can forward it along. And weekly, the research development team and myself uh, monitor some opportunities uh, and let uh, your associate deans of research and deans know about uh, specific strategic ones and they can then forward them along to you. Once you have found an opportunity, RD can help you determine if it's truly a good fit. We can uh, help you determine if your RISCA is ready for that particular call and if you'll have a high probability of being competitive should you apply. Research development can help you also plan uh, what proposals to apply for on a short and long term time scale. Uh, this involves sitting down with us and looking at what you'd like your risk of trajectory to be uh, over time and creating uh, an evolving timeline of grant applications with increasing complexity and likely increasing dollar amounts over time. Once you determine a particular opportunity that you want to apply for, Research development can also help in several ways. We can help you find partners as needed. We can be sure that you have an appropriate risk of plan and approach for that call. Uh, we can help you contact the program officer if you'd like help with that and even meet with you with the program officer. Again, this is really important to determine if it's absolutely uh, your risk of idea that the uh, agency is looking to fund with this call. They can't tell you if you get funded, but they can tell you if the idea fits with what they're looking to fund. Uh, research development can actually help you put together an outline for the proposal, proposal and be sure that that outline will hit all the uh, review criteria. We can help you tell, oh, and, and we can really help you tell a great story that highlights what is novel and compelling about your risk of. We can provide you with templates and draft institutional support, support letters and liaise with leadership as needed. Uh, and then really key, research development can do multiple strategic edits designed to be sure that your proposal is competitive as possible. And here I mean edits of the narrative, uh, the content of the narrative itself. The best timeline to start working with research development is ideally three to six months out for say a single PI investigator grant, longer for more complex proposals. We do understand that many of you will come to us with less time, but we encourage more time uh, if possible. I'd also like to let you know that uh, research development differs from the research foundation and that we really are strategic help uh, and strategic planning and strategic review of that narrative uh, content. Uh, in contrast to the Research Foundation, and they are really the submission experts. Once uh, you're ready to submit, you go to them and they need a 25 day minimum uh, notice to make sure that your proposal goes in smoothly. As of January, the research development is fully staffed. We have three research development specialists uh, and a project communications coordinator. And it's the research development specialist job to meet with you one-on-one -on -one to help plan for upcoming opportunities, and then again, to really get in there with you with a proposal narrative. If you don't know who your research development specialist is, you can go to the research development website that I showed you uh, and check our About Us web pages. You can also contact myself and Emma Attard at any time. So to wrap up, I just wanna let you know that research development is here to help you as faculty be successful in grant getting. And please reach out to me or to your friendly neighborhood research development specialist or our project and communications coordinator at any time. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Jessica Trask and I'm the first director of research compliance here at San Jose State University. I joined the team on March 1st, 2021. Thank you so much for your interest in the Division of Research and Innovation. 
RISCA is governed by a network of federal regulations, state laws, and local policies, and keeping track of it all can feel overwhelming. That's why our job in the Research Compliance Unit is to assist and guide faculty, staff, and students in RISCA that is compliant, legal, and ethical. We work closely with departments and administration to adapt to the rapidly evolving regulatory landscape and support the university's high standards for academic and professional behavior. Research Compliance is here to support your success in all areas of research, scholarship, and creative activities. In the Research Compliance Unit, we provide administrative support for all of the committees that review and approve risk of projects with special compliance requirements. For example, research that involves human subjects will need to be reviewed and approved by the Institutional Review Board, or IRB. The IRB protects the rights and welfare of human research subjects by ensuring that they are provided with enough information to make informed decisions, their privacy is protected, and that the risks that subjects encounter are minimized. While you may think of clinical trials or medical research when you think of human subjects, the SJSU IRB supports a wide variety of risk of projects involving human subjects, including studies of educational practices, racial justice, and more. The Institutional Biosafety Committee, or IBC, make sure that all activities involving biohazardous materials are conducted safely. The IBC helps faculty, students, and staff use good safety practices and monitors all activities that could involve infectious agents, biological toxins, recombinant DNA, and other materials that could pose a risk to humans or the environment. IBC approval is needed not just for infectious agents or transgenic organisms, but also blood and other bodily fluids. Here at SJSU, we also have a commitment to respectful and responsible research involving animals. These activities are guided by the Institutional Animal Care and Use Committee, also known as the IACUC. The IACUC monitors activities involving animal subjects and make sure that faculty, staff, and students understand and comply with the ethical and scientific obligations that accompany animal research. The SJSU IACUC is where you can report any animal welfare concerns. The SJSU faculty, staff, and students engage in a wide variety of risk of projects involving animals, and not just in a laboratory setting. We support animal research projects at the Moss Landing Marine Laboratory, along the California coast, and around the world. It's important to know that if your activities require approval from any of these ancillary compliance committees, that approval must be in place before you start the research. If you have questions about RISCA involving human subjects, biohazards, or animal subjects, or how to obtain approval from these committees here at SJSU, please check the Office of Research website for contact information. Compliance committees are just one part of what we do in the Research Compliance Unit. We also support compliance with a variety of regulations and provide training and education on research misconduct and professional ethics. All members of the SJSU community are expected to uphold the highest standards of ethics, honesty, and integrity in their scholarly and scientific activities. For example, if you undertake a research project sponsored by a federal agency like the National Science Foundation or the National Institutes of Health, we will provide you, any SJSU personnel, and any students funded through that grant with training on the responsible conduct of research. The Research Compliance Unit also investigates allegations of research misconduct which include things like fabricating data, changing or omitting information, or plagiarizing other people's ideas or words. We can also assist you by answering questions about the authorship of publications, by helping you to disclose any potential financial conflicts of interest that you may have, providing information on how to avoid these conflicts, or by giving advice on how to manage international collaborations. If you need guidance on how to navigate the compliance landscape or have seen something that concerns you, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me or another member of the Research Compliance Unit. You will also find information on the SJSU Research Compliance website, as well as my contact information. Thank you for your time and attention. 
and I wish you all the best in your scholarly activities. Hello, I'm Michael Music, Director of Innovation at San Jose State University. We have many talented researchers in San Jose State. Our office was created to support students, faculty, and staff develop and translate university research and expand the impact of innovation at San Jose State. We want the Office of Innovation to be your go-to resource for any activity related to development, protection, or translation of San Jose State-related research and the products or services that drive research or provide economic or social benefit. Our office has three primary functions. The first is identifying, protecting, and licensing in San Jose State inventions and creative ones. The second is establishing collaborative research with industry. And the third is providing guidance and assistance to San Jose State affiliated um, small businesses and startups. We offer a variety of services for management of intellectual property. The process begins by capturing disclosures of discoveries, including inventions, creative works, and software. We evaluate the commercial potential of these discoveries and work with creators to develop strategies for how they should be managed. For discoveries that have commercial potential, the next step is to advance the discovery for intellectual property protection. This may include filing a patent application or seeking copyright protection. Once the intellectual property is documented and protected, we'll lead efforts to identify industry partners to collaborate on research, development, and licensing as part of the process to advance the technology. Working with the Research Foundation, every aspect of the process is managed for the creator, including collecting and distributing any royalty revenue. The university has a policy governing intellectual property. You should take some time to become familiar with the policy. If you believe you have a creation that has commercial application, we are here to help you advance your idea. The second key goal for our office is establishing relationships with industry and library research. If you are interested in collaborating with industry, we will work with you to find an industry partner and secure that interest. If you already have a partner in mind, we'll help advance the relationship. Once an interested partner is secured, we will coordinate with you and the Research Foundation to establish an agreement with the industry partner. In cases where we have an invention or a creative work, we will use the discovery as the basis for seeking industry partners for collaborative research. In other cases, industry may contact our office seeking researchers that are interested in collaborating with them to develop one of their ideas. Forming collaborative research with industry involves a number of complex issues such as confidentiality, intellectual property, and funding. Before engaging with industry, I encourage you to contact our office so we can help address these issues. Our third area of responsibility is expanding entrepreneurship and supporting San Jose State affiliated startups launch and grow new businesses. There are a variety of resources available both inside and outside the university to help start a company. We are a focal point for accessing those resources. Examples of those resources include the Student Ideas Club and the Silicon Valley Innovation Challenge, both programs organized by the College of Business. New programs we are launching to assist startups and small businesses include Spartan Thrive, an incubator for San Jose State affiliated startup companies. The Loft, a high tech accelerator being created by the College of Professional and Global Education that will be focused on technology related topics such as data science, artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, and virtual reality. We also have a proposal to develop uh, to host a small business development center that will provide a wide range of assistance to small businesses throughout Silicon Valley. If you have a small business or want to create a small business, we are here to help you access a variety of resources to assist in your journey. Thank you for your time. I 
encourage you to contact our office to see how we may assist you on your innovation and entrepreneurship project. Thank you. My name is Samantha Carruth, and I'm the director of the Office of Sponsored Programs here at the San Jose State University Research Foundation. The Office of Sponsored Programs is responsible for the overall administration of extramurally funded programs, research-related agreements, and intellectual property management on behalf of SJSU and our faculty. As a part of the Division of Research and Innovation, the Office of Sponsored Programs is a group of 22 dedicated research administrators whose number one goal is helping you support your RISCA activities through grant administration. We provide support for these SJSU RISCA activities through five functional areas. Research communications, home to our newsletter and website operations. Proposal development, which is here to assist you with the proposal and submission process for grants, contracts, and fellowships. Contracting, which oversees sponsored research contracts and other research-related agreements, such as CDAs and MTAs. Awards management, which supports you throughout the span of your project once we receive funding, and self-support, which houses on-campus programs such as workshops, as well as RISCA accounts for faculty. In addition to sponsored programs and in collaboration with the Office of Innovation, OSP also oversees intellectual property agreements and management. SJSU has a vibrant and diverse RISCA enterprise that we here at OSP are all very grateful to be a part of and we look forward to supporting you on your funding journey. Thank you. Hello, my name is Andrew Exner, and I'm the Executive Director of the San Jose State University Research Foundation. The Research Foundation is a nonprofit 501c3 that operates as an auxiliary of San Jose State University and exists solely for the university's benefit. As an integral part of the Division of Research and Innovation, the Research Foundation provides administrative and business support to the SJSU research enterprise in the areas of sponsored programs, which includes research grant and contract administration, innovation program support, and intellectual property management. Our organization also includes other related operational support functions for research administration, such as finance, human resources, and IT. In addition to the Office of Sponsored Programs, we operate several self-support programs related to research scholarship and creative activity and specific academic initiatives. These programs include the administration of the competitive faculty fellowships for the Office of the Provost, the operation of international gateways and international house programs for the College of Professional and Global Education, and the Timpani Center partnership with Santa Clara County for the College of Health and Human Sciences. We employ about 50 people in our central office and nearly 1,000 people across the SJSU research and academic projects. We have annual contracts and grants revenues of nearly $60 million. This federal, state, and private funding supports SJSU's expanding research enterprise, placing San Jose State among the top 220 universities in the country for total research expenditures. On behalf of the entire team at the SJSU Research Foundation, we continue to be inspired by the endeavors and accomplishments of SJSU researchers. We are committed to supporting your efforts through our dedication to providing streamlined, robust, and efficient research administration systems and services. We look forward to connecting with you. Thank you.